In its two short years towering over the skyline, Revel never once turned a profit. Even in bankruptcy court, with rock bottom pricing, it couldn't find a buyer. The closing is another huge blow to the crumbling seaside resort. 3,100 more people will be thrown out of work. State Senator James Whelan says this is the free market at work. Yeah, unfortunately, the, the layoffs themselves, uh, painful as they are, is only really the first wave of this where small stores, mom and pop restaurants and so on, that maybe have a dozen or so employees are going to have to cut down to six or seven. Revel's original owners built it as a luxury resort that just happened to have a casino. They welcomed neither smokers nor busloads of day trippers. In a year, they filed for bankruptcy. Revel's next owners launched a glitzy ad campaign crying, gamblers wanted. That didn't work. They filed for bankruptcy. Competitive pressures mounted from casinos in bordering states and from online gambling sites. As a noted philosopher Yogi Berra once said, if people don't want to come, you can't stop them. And that's what's happened in Atlantic City. In the long term, we have to redefine ourselves, and uh, hopefully we will be able to do that. And if we do, uh, you know, we'll be better days ahead. And if we don't, then we're going to continue to struggle. Mayor Don Guardian says this may be Revel's last chapter, but not the last one for the building. His city started this year with 12 casinos. The Atlantic Club is gone. Showboat will close before Labor Day, followed by Revel and Trump Plaza closing in mid-September.